Einstein, eu dou meu aí, tem contato com o Manifold. Eu não sei se eu vou chegar, eu vou chegar. 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 The starting point uh, is something that I want to call the Sondrian surgery formulas. Uh, <coughs> and and I'm, I'm going to do that in, in, in sequence of more, uh, more interesting cases. So I, I'll, I'll start just with the ordinary uh, the Weinstein manifold. And then, uh, uh, same thing, but stops. Uh, along the Schwandrian submanifold. And then eventually uh, I'm going to this uh, with, with stops uh, along uh, Weinstein subdomain. Oh, so they somehow. <coughs> the, the general case, which, which is, is a counterpart of what Maxime was talking about, knows what Schill was talking about. And then I, I, I'm, I will tell, tell you how, how this uh, leads to uh, calculations. So, so this may be, I don't know, so calculations. Uh, Or wrap for a modi. I don't know. This is somehow this the last report on Chandra's story. And uh, and finally I, I want to uh, come back to, to say something about this uh Lagrangian uh for a for a commodity. In, 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 in the sense of Maxim's talk and then how, how one can actually maybe try and compute these things and what, 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 what would come out. So we'll see how, how fast it goes, but, but anyway. So, <coughs> and, and I should say that many of these things, so this, the, from here on this is pretty new and it's not really written. The Lechandrian surgery story started a uh, long time ago, so I've been doing this for many years and then and in cooperation with many people, so uh, let me just uh, list. Uh <coughs> so it, it started with joint work with Bourgeois and Iliersberg, and then uh, the Keeling uh, was somehow this next with, with stops, and also. Lenny in, we computed things for this, and then Shende uh, and, and Sylvain Cote. So it's a long list of, of, of people and papers, and some things are approved, some other things are approved, but I, I, I'll be happy to answer any kind of such questions maybe after the talk, and I'll, I'll, I'll try to give the general picture. So we start with, with the Weinstein manifold, and uh, <coughs> We can always write it as a rather uninteresting part. So the subcritical part, that means the handles which are, so I think of it as a, uh, decomposed by handles, as in, in Schitt's talk. And so there are the subcritical handles which are below half of the dimension. This is 2n dimensional. So <coughs> and that's a kind of symplectically rather uninteresting object. So it's completely soft, just you can, it's, 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 it's handles determine it completely up to this. And then, <coughs> we add the, uh, the critical handles along some uh, Lechandrian link in the boundary. So the picture is something like this. So he here we start with this W0, and then in the boundary of this W0, there is a Lechandrian link lambda where we attach uh, the critical handles. And this Lechandrian link lambda 
It holds all the information of of uh, the simple of, of the uh, Weinstein manifold somehow. Um, and uh, the first result that I want to describe, so that this is somehow in line with what uh, Maxim said and she said. So here, when you when you perform these certain derivatives, uh, I'll call them C. So the co-core, there are two of them, one for each handle. So they are co-core, co-core disks. They're Lagrangian, and then somehow they <coughs> generators of the category here. And so, so what I want to do is I want to describe how to compute the wrapped homology of this this C in terms of data before the surgery. So in terms of lambda sitting inside, I should say, the contact boundary of this W0. Okay. And, and the, the surgery theorem says that, let me state it first, so a theorem that this rep, there is a, there is a natural isomorphism from the rep cohomology of these co-cores into the Chikonov in Yashper algebra of the of the uh, Lechandrian spheres lambda. And and I, I, I'll I'll sketch a proof of this theorem, but maybe maybe first I need to tell you a little bit what these things are. So 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 th this one was introduced before, but let, let me anyway tell you how, how I view it. So the statement is phi is an isomorphism. Yes. <coughs> and it's an isomorphism. So this is an this is an A infinity algebra, and this is a DJ algebra. But we can we can view it as an A infinity algebra by taking words and taking product is just a product of words. So this is it has kind of very few operations here, many operations. But this is so uh, so this wrapped homology. Uh, maybe I'll just draw it schematically. So it's it's counting uh, so so it is generated by rape chords on the boundary of C so out here out here on the on the boundary in so here is the boundary of uh, W and there is a rape flow there and we look at the rape chords which start and end on C okay and and there is one, and there is also some kind of contributions from what Maxine was doing chains, but here I would do more steer, but these are disks, so there is one more generator for each each thing, which corresponds to like the minimum or maximum of these and of course and and one uh, let's say homology or minimum in each component. And, and the differential and then the mu mu k operations count holomorphic disks like this. So somehow here, so this is mu three. So you, you input rape chords up here and output rape chords down here, and the the disk uh, leaves here <coughs> in the, in the simplectization of d w. Okay. Uh, so, so this is three inputs, one output, and then they, and, and now one needs to say something about this, this going in and hitting this, this point, and, 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 and also, as in Maxim's talk, there could be somehow, you know, things going off to rape orbits here and so on, but these rape orbits you can get rid of by something co called augmentation. So if you count buildings inside, you, you can forget about them. So I, I, I will suppress the rape orbits in order to kind of Yes. Is any the other side you're describing? You're gonna no, this is the red Many up, one down. Okay. So, thank you. Uh, Sorry, one question. So, how uh, this does not depend on W0? It does depend on W0 as well, but somehow W0 is just some starting point for this <laughs> symplectic manifold. So. W series is a subcritical part of it, right? But so the right hand side doesn't depend on W zero. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. yeah, everything depends on W zero. Don't we depend on the boundary of W? 
No, no, it will depend through kind of these, so these the guys uh, yeah. to the augmentation to W0. Okay, so, so this is this is this side of the story. So you you know you you get a infinity algebra like this, and this is some structure you can look at which which component it starts on and so on. So this and then what is this Chicano Villarspring algebra? It's in a way the same thing but upside down. So C E of lambda. So again you you take this it's uh, have to take algebra over maybe rationals, or I can do integers, but uh, it, it's it generated by rape chords, uh, rape chords of lambda, right? So now, now I, I note, note that I'm now changing perspective a little bit. So um, uh, my my ambient contact manifold is now the boundary of W zero, and inside here I also have a rape flow, and I take. I take rape chords and I generate, I, I, I generate freely an algebra, non-commutative algebra on these rape chords, and I define here a differential. Uh, uh, so count things like this. So maybe D of C. So C inputs one chord and outputs several chords. It still depends on W0, yeah. It still depends on yeah, W0, because, 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 because of these same, same things. Same right, yeah. same thing. And I'm kind of going to suppress them, but uh, they, are, they are still there. That's right. Um, right. So, uh, and, and, and uh, now, uh, the, uh, this, this algebra, uh, this D that I'm saying counting such things in the simplectization, so I should say it counts the, these, these both, these are dimension one, and then uh, and they sit sitting in, in each one of the, one in the simplectization of W0 and one in the simplectization of W, but, and, and the reason why D squared is equal to zero is this SFT compactness and, and, and gluing thing, so why is D squared equal to zero? So, so that, that's that's because if you look at the boundary of a, a two-dimensional, so one, one dimension in some sense here is stupid. It's just the R translation. But if you look at the boundary of two-dimensional such moduli space, then it it will consist of. Uh -huh. so it will consist of broken curves of two levels. So, so somehow, the curve, the terms corresponding to d squared, they sum up to the to the boundary of, a, of an oriented one manifold, and therefore it squares to zero. Uh, can you please repeat the argument? Hmm? Uh, sorry, I missed the argument. So the argument is that so uh, so this is one dimensional. This is one dimensional. So if I start at the chord C, I take differential, and then I take differential again. That means I attach such disk at at one of the outputs. But such configurations are exactly the configurations that appears in the boundary of, of this two-dimensional moduli space. So therefore, d squared is zero. Okay. And so, uh, this theorem, uh, so the proof of the theorem, or, or the, I mean, the main point is this existence of the map phi. And I'm, I'm going to draw, so the map the map phi counts uh, <coughs> curves of the following form. So now I'm looking at curves that leave, I tell you exactly where they leave in a second. So they leave in, uh, oh, okay, sorry. I'll come back here. So, so, the, so we now look at curves which leave in the cobordism between the the positive end dw and the negative end dw zero. Okay. Again, I have to use the filling for these orbits and so on, but let, let me neglect it. So I'm looking at curves in here. And in here we have two kind of we have two Lagrangians. We have Lagrangian C, which I already talked about, and then we have Lagrangian L, which are the the, the core disks. So there's a co-core disk going up and the core disk going down. And, and the isomorphism map uh, has input 
course of C. So up here on all the boundary. But it's in the boundary of DW, DW you know. Yeah, yeah. So, so the, the upper end is in the boundary of DW, okay, yeah. and the lower end is in the in the boundary DW of zero. Oh, okay. So it is somehow stretching. It's not a, it's not in the simplectization, but yeah. it's in, in cohorts. And so, so my my curves. So he, on, on on the upper uh, these boundary components, these these boundary components all map to C. The crosses here, they map to the intersections of C and L, mm. and the rest of them map to L. Okay. So uh, these things of dimension zero. Okay. And now uh, we would first like to understand why is this, why is this a, a chain map? And why does it intertwine the product and so on? Mm. So and, and, and of course the, the it's the usual argument. So we look at such moduli spaces of dimension one and we look at what are their splittings. And and when I look so, so somehow we take the switching this. point should have the same level or it can move. Wh which one? And these two. Uh, oh no, no it, it can move, sorry, it can move. It's it somehow can just move. so formally what I have is I have some disk with, with, with two anywhere, everything okay. is anywhere, okay. so there's no okay. constraint on any conformal structure. So if, if I draw it here, it's, a, it's just this generic piece. <laughs> 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 Sorry, yeah. So, so now uh, in these one dimensional families, what can happen? So first there are two basic things that can happen. So you, you may split into some kind of curve flying out of top, which, which is a A infinity mm -hmm. operation followed by the map, right? Mm -hmm. Or you can split off a curve on the bottom, which is the map followed by the differential downstairs. Or one more thing can happen, namely, so remember this was C and this was L, so, so two of these guys can sort of come together and, and split at the double point. So, so if I draw this, this splitting, what it would look like is maybe it's more interesting to draw it like this. So it, 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 it it's like in 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 in, in Fleur homology, it can split at this this double point. And you see that uh, <coughs> that then 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 you get somehow this uh, concatenation product downstairs. So that that that. At least we have a chain map, and then we may ask, why is this a chain isomorphism? And uh, are there any bubble at this uh, uh, switching point? Was there any? And uh, that bu bubble at the switching point? No, no, it is, it's, it's just exact, right? So, so, so you cannot. Uh, you, you have to have some 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 positive rate core in order to be anything. Ah, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you. you okay, yeah. Yeah, but uh, but already I think in our paper uh, picture we have also uh, we, we not have individual disk but disk connected by this dashed lines when you use this green. Yeah. Terrace. So do uh, you have yeah, yeah, yeah. So 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 if if I were to define this thing yeah. properly, uh, there or um, uh, there 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 could be disks in inside here, right? Yeah. Which 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 somehow. Yeah, no, no, no. We, we map just not individual disks, but planar tree of disks. Yeah, yeah. So, have, so, so have some green cards. Yeah, yeah. So, so so here here they would maybe appear in, in general. You know, for example, th there could be something like this. Yeah, yeah. So so I'm cheating a little bit. Yeah. The way I would do it is I, I somehow that's what what we wrote in our paper with Yankee. So we somehow define them by taking parallel copies. Ah, yeah. And then you don't really have to say anything, but when you take the limit and push the parallel copies to one of them, yeah. there would be, in fact, uh, these disks may be connected by Morse flow trees and yeah, attached. Yeah. So, so indeed, there are such. So, so, so I have them, but uh, but when you set up the theory, you can somehow neglect uh, them a little bit. Yeah. Uh, but on this side, <coughs> on the other side, the downward side, in some sense, no, you you don't need them. You know, so they are they're just like this. Okay. So what what about uh, what about the isomorphism? Well, it, it turns out that this map, in fact, is a is a chain, is is an isomorphism oriented on chain level. 
So in order to see that, we need to understand, uh, so, so, so we want to understand the rate flow, rate dynamics in the boundary of W in terms of of, of that in, in, in the boundary of W0, okay? And, and in order to see what's going on, we make the handles very, very thin. So we, we somehow squeeze the handles, and then the rate dynamics in W is more or less the same as that in W0. You kind of go along a rate chord, and as long as you're no, nowhere near the lambda, nothing happens. You just go. And when you hit lambda, uh, then you have to think about the rate dynamics inside the disk that is attached. But the disk that is attached you can sort of think of as T star dn, right? And so, so down here you, you, your, your rate flow is entering somewhere. And in fact, if you think for, for a second, the, the normal direction, if you take a tubular neighborhood of this lambda, the normal direction there, so uh, I should do a picture. So. This is lambda, and, and you have you take some kind of tubular neighborhood, and your rate your rate flow is hitting this boundary here, right? And if it hits right at, at uh, going to the north, that means that you're going straight to the middle. And depending on where you hit on this thing, you can sort of go in whatever direction you want. Mm -hmm. So so you you span all possible directions by this thing. So what the outcome of that is that is the following, that the rate, if, if, if you want to create the rate chord from C to C here, what you should do is you should somehow start here at the middle of this disk. This is where C sits. Go to the boundary, you go out in the manifold. Mm -hmm. Go a chord, mm -hmm. and you come into the next disk. Go over it, go a chord, go over, go a chord, and eventually come back into the middle. So this means that that the new rate, so rate chords of C are equal to words of, 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 of rate chords of lambda. So for each word, you basically have one rate chord. And so then, then the, 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 the only, in fact, what you can show is that, that you, you now have some kind of energy filtration for this map. And, and this map actually has ones on the diagonal. And, and, and the reason for that is that you kind of explicitly, it's just, you know, you, you pick a model, explicitly construct these one, one word disks. So that it's easy to show that you kind of transfer. And then when you want to have the two word ones, you, you study the gluing of two one word disks. And so they glue, but, but now the energy, since the handle is so thin, it has to break some place, and, and there is not the energy for it to break any place else than, than just at the desired isomorphism disk, which somehow falls down at the lower end. So it just turns around. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So that that's so, so 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 you get the kind of in some sense a very si uh, I mean, yeah. to the extent that this lambda is simple, you get a fairly simple expression for this, this other one. Okay. Mm. So let, uh, let's do um, some example. Um, <coughs> so the, the basic example, of course, is this T star SN. So how can we view this? by Legendrian surgery. So we start, or, or we take W0. In this case, we take just to be the two n-dimensional ball. Okay? And in this two n-dimensional ball... So this lambda... So it's lambda. Okay. lambda will soon appear, soon appear. So, <laughs> so in this, in this two n-dimensional ball... So it's double. Uh, w0. Yeah. That this is supposed to be equal to oh, W, yeah. That. Sorry, yes. And, and this is W0. So in this two-dimensional ball, um, we take here we take somehow Rn or whatever it is. And, and, and when you take the boundary of Rn and you attach a, a handle on the outside, 
Like so, then you build this T star SN. Right? Mm -hmm. So we need to understand what this is. And, and there is a more kind of convenient picture. Th this is a sort of very large, very large Lagrangian sphere, but you can, uh, of course, everything is finite up to isotopes. You can isotope it down into a small, small ball. And in this small ball, it, you know, uh, in lo local coordinates, you, if it was one dimension, it would look like this. Uh, if it's n dimensional, maybe it's easier to draw its front. So it's in some kind of Darboux ball. Uh, so so I, I'm drawing the picture looks like this. It's an n dimensional front. So you, so, so you, you, reco you recover the local <coughs> y coordinates by partial derivatives of this front with respect to x. This is lambda. This is lambda. Okay. That's right. This is lambda. And in this case, uh, the calculation is somehow extra simple. So this, at least if the dimension is bigger than one, this lambda has one rave chord, effectively. If, if you're in the ball, it has this, you make it small, it has one rave chord of, of some grading. Maybe grading A is equal to n minus 1. And there are other, rape, if you're in the pool, there are other rape cores, but you can, so basically, they become very, very, very long and have very, very high grading. So in terms of the algebra, they're filtered out. So, uh, uh, no, I don't understand, because yeah. it's, it's, it's this grading, it dip, it's you change your Legendre and whatever things as grading moves and you can't really. Yeah, okay, yeah. Let, let, let me tell you. So, so, so okay, I, I take the, yeah. I take the round. Yeah. yeah, and then I perturb slightly this rave flow yeah. so that I have some kind of here I have one orbit yeah. going yeah. around, yeah. and then I put my Lagrangian sphere here. Yeah, okay, okay. Very, very tiny. Yeah. Very tiny, and then the return map of this thing is just rotation by small angle, yeah. Yeah. and the angle is a little bit bigger than this one, so it comes back here and then here and then ah, so eventually it, this it comes back here, and each turn. Yeah. Increases the grading by two. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, so, so somehow the grading, the grading is somehow just yeah. uh, exploding. So it cannot be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and of course, so so so, so what, what is my algebra? Mm -hmm. Well, my algebra now, I, I, by grading reasons, cannot even be a differential. Of course, I, I will later ex explain all holomorphic curves here. But for now, my my the C E of lambda is equal to. So integers generated by this one generator of degree n minus one, right? And that's supposed to be that's supposed to be the wrapped through homology of this C, which is the cotangent fiber in S n minus one, and by this kind of PSS isomorphism, we know that that's supposed to be chains on the base loop space of S n, right? And that's that's correct. Okay. Um, what else can we do with these technologies? So let, let me let me give one more example. So so for example, uh, if you take so so now I'm I'm going down. I'm taking W zero is the four ball, and uh, lambda is the trefoil knot. So, and, and, and this trefoil knot, I'm, I'm drawing its projection in xy space, and the, and the, the rate field is just C, C flow. So I have, I have three, A1, B1, B2, B3. Ah, so it's a special trefoil, Legendre trefoil. A Legendre special, Legendre is very special, Legendre trefoil. Because trefoil is not just draw it simply. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can draw it simpler, but then, but the Legendre, it has to be area zero, and this is also mass of zero, okay? So, so, so now um, we can compute the differential. And the differential, this is sort of this Chekhonov calculation. So I, I, I'm, I'm going to suppress signs. But da 2 is almost the same thing. So, so and, and how do you compute this? So here. You can see your holomorphic disks with 
uh, as polygons. So, so this is this is a disk starting at A1 and has no negative coordinates. So that's this guy. And then you can go the other way. You can go here, jump down at this one, and co continue. So that's that one turns out. And you can go all the way, jump down at this, and come back. Or you can go here and jump down at every one. So that's this cubicle. So, but anyway, so for, 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 for nodes in the plane or for in this four-dimensional case, this is some kind of combinatorics. You, 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 you draw a polygons and you can compute, but here, the in, in fact, you can check that these things are... Uh, it, it, the the, the chicano algebra algebra becomes commutative. And, 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 and what it is, is just this somehow uh, three variable... Yeah, I mean... Uh, O over this this thing, one plus b one plus b two plus this thing, b one b two b three. But in fact, this is a kind of a surgery presentation of that manifold. So the, yeah, b three. B3, thank you. Oh, sorry, it's more. <laughs> no, no, not with this picture. I agree. So, but the, this is a kind of proving now some kind of mirror symmetry for this. So it's a fine variety. Which is the fine variety which is self mirror, and you're computing the, the endomorphisms of this fragment. Mm -hmm. And you can do many things like that. Okay. Um, right. Right. So, <coughs> so now I, I want to go one. So this is the, in some sense, the first case we consider this Weinstein manifold case, and then we developed. Uh, the same kind of strategy with, with, with Yaki when you add a stop. So I want to keep this calculation. So let's see when we add a stop, how we can generalize this thing. So, so we, we do the same thing. We start with our Weinstein manifold. Uh, it's going to maybe W0 or W. Uh, okay, I'll put 0. It doesn't need to be subcritical, but uh, maybe I put W. So, and then, then I take in the boundary this W, I take some uh, Lechondrian some manifold, which maybe is not necessarily a, sw a sphere. I take some lambda here, which is Lechondrian submanifold. And now I would like to understand this Leeville sector that I get by putting a stop at this lambda. And the way I like to think about this, the first approximation, is that I take, I, I think it in terms of surgery. So I take T star of my lambda times a half line, and I add it to this, like, sorry, yeah. Can you explain what do you mean by putting a stop? Uh, 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 maybe I'll uh, explain mm -hmm. in, in this way. This is the definition, if you wish. Yeah. So, so this, this thing, you, uh, lambda has a, na has a neighborhood uh, which, which contains this sort of t, t star lambda times a little bit of rape. Mm -hmm. and, 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 you, and you can just attach this thing to it. So, so, so somehow, not, not the, the manifold that you get is just the same manifold as you would have gotten by removing lambda. But symplectically, I'm making this kind of infinite n, right? Okay. And, and so the, this... Uh, uh, the the boundary kind of non-compact. Non-compact. It's yeah. non-compact. It goes out. Yeah. But, but uh, as you were saying, it's finite at infinity and so on. So it's fine to, it's fine to look at holomorphic curves in this manifold as well. And now... Uh, now, uh, what I want to do is I want to calculate. I, I put the fiber. So this is stop, no? This, uh, this is called stop. La lambda is called lambda. stop, I lambda think. Is yeah. Lambda is called stop. Or, or, or T star of lambda. Kind of. So why stop? No, stop because it means that uh, when you consider uh, re 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 vector field, it, it kind of. Uh, uh, you can try it's, it's, it's zero on lambda. Yeah. It's, you consider ref vector fields with zero, uh, zero on lambda and non zero. Er uh, uh, everywhere else, and you kind of make wrapping 
Uh, only uh, outside right. uses. Or in this it, picture, it, it, stops, stops. Yeah, it, it, can, it cannot go through lambda. <laughs> when it goes to here, it goes to, and it's in some sense. But as we as we will see, it it it's kind of. It stops, but doesn't really stop. So I, I <laughs> explain it says exactly so, so, how it doesn't so stop. So what is this third of lambda? It's, it's, it's Cotangent a bundle. bundle. Cotangent bundle. Yeah. Okay. And so, so th 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 this has a boundary which is kind of it at mesh, zero. Uh, is it so, so before uh, uh, before I attach T star of the disk, right? Okay. If you make a little hole in the middle of this disk, hmm. then you would have T star <laughs> S n minus one times zero okay. infinity. But now I just make kind of more topology in lambda. Okay. And so now, now in this new interesting metaphor, we again have a we again have this copore disk, and because it's a nice manifold, we can again define this. This is no no problem with holomorphic curves out at infinity, and so we can define the uh, wrapped homology of C, and the theorem corresponding to the, the the one before is you have a map again. The wrap for a cohomology of this C, of course you, you can do it many places and so on, but let, let me skip it. It's isomorphic to the chikonov ilyashbury algebra of lambda with coefficients in chains on the base loop space of lambda. Yeah. This, uh, lambda was a little bit lost. Yes. Uh, when can see this original lambda? Uh, uh, no, in, in your first theorem, yeah. lambda was in the boundary DW0, yes, different yes, contact yeah, manifold. Yes, yeah. yes. And now it's lambda inside V. Yeah, I, I maybe I should call it X. It's, it's, a, it's not necessarily subcritical. That, yeah, that's yeah, why yeah, I no didn't no put yeah, a zero. Yeah. So it's just it's just anywhere. Yeah. Okay. okay. And this theorem is also doesn't reduce its W0 subcritical. No, it doesn't really. It's just it that somehow plays the no role, you, 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 it plays no role. You can do it uh, attaching handle to a critical guy, and the same yeah. theorem holds. Yeah. But but I, I just wanted somehow to remove yeah. dependence on the somehow, but I, I, I should maybe have not. But <laughs> <laughs> the theorem holds also if it's non non yeah. The coefficients are really coefficients that is central. Uh, it's not coefficient. Uh, I, 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 I'll explain what this is. I'll explain what it is. Yeah. So uh, maybe I, I I don't know what to, can you make kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> okay, well, I explain. It, it's the following. So, so what is this? So, <coughs> so let, let me explain what this algebra is. So, so uh, this algebra uh, has elements of the form. Uh, so I, I'll put here gamma zero, C one, gamma one, C two, uh, gamma m minus one, C m, gamma m, and let's see. So the the Roman letters here they're red chords, and these Greek letters are chains, chains on the base on the base loop space. So, uh, and the differential in this 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 object is the same as before. Uh, so, so the differential uh, counts these things. D and C. The rate force here: B1, B2, B3. But now, in this case, we look at not just rigid, uh, not just one-dimensional this, but this of arbitrary dimension. And so the moduli space, the moduli space of such disk, if you if you look at this boundary, right, it gives you a chain of paths in the Lagrangian, in the, in the Lagrangian lambda, right? So okay, so you, maybe you want to close it. You, you have to pick some data to close it up to close loops, but somehow you see uh, uh, the moduli space parameterizes, you know, chains, rape core chain, rape core. So it's a little bit kind of. You have to say words to, to, to get this okay, but it, it, that, that's the idea. And again, you know, it splits into two level curves, and therefore d squared equals here. Okay. So, and the map the map is uh, the same as before. You go up, you go down, and and what what happens? So so let let's 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 see what happens. So, I want to understand the rave dynamics. 
in, in the manifold after attaching this end. And so I do it by taking a metric, so metric on the cone, uh, which I take to be, uh, say this is t variable, dt squared plus phi t g. So g is some metric on, on, the, on, the, on lambda. And phi t is a kind of decreasing function. So you should think about it like a cone. So now if I want to understand the rate flow, uh, again I have the same, I need to understand what happens when I go into this pseudo handle or whatever it is. But uh, that's, so I need to understand the geodesics in this matrix, but that's kind of, <laughs> it's just like Newtonian, but it's some interesting geodesic down here. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so therefore you can go somehow rape chord, geodesic, rape chord, geodesic, and then somehow this geodesic should be translated to chains in loop space and so okay. Lambda here is assumed a sphere? Lambda is a manifold, any manifold. So sometimes when you write these chains, there's some correction that has to be done when the manifold is not a spin. That doesn't occur in this... Uh I think I, I, I would say lambda is a spin manifold. Relative spin. Yes. Lambda, you again should use smaller dimensional core. Yeah. I, 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 the, 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 this is some kind of sign orientation business, but, but okay, so did, did this is what it is. Okay, so uh, 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 let us, let us at, at least go back and check in our basic example that this is something reasonable. So if I go back to the, this kind of uh, unknown thing, so, so now what, what are we doing? So we're not, we're not adding a full handle. But instead, we're adding this. We're adding this kind of long end here. So I instead of adding the hand, we add this. We take a stop, and what we build. So in this other case, what we build is we build T star R n, right? Because uh, but R n kind of. Uh, we build it's a it's a fat R n in the middle. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so <laughs> the skeleton, the skeleton is R n, and, 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 and the manifold is somehow yeah. symplectomorphic to this thing. And, and we're trying to compute the interesting wrapped self homology of the fiber in R n in the middle. But what do we need to do? Well, we need to add something to this algebra, because before we had just the rape chord, but now we need to have the chains on S n minus 1. But, uh, but uh, at least, uh, say, dimension bigger than one or whatever, then, then you can use this Adams construction, and then it is just basically one point condition. So you have one more generator y of degree n minus 1, and here you can read off the holomorphic curves, or, or in this picture, but, but they look like some kind of flow trees. So the holomorphic curves are actually these curves, if you rotate them around. And so there is exactly, if you pick a point, there's exactly one curve going through that point, or if you like, like these chains on the base loop space, you see that you somehow, the moduli space gives you the generator. So what happens is that this d of a is actually equal to y. And d of y is zero in this model, right? So, so what remains of this algebra is just, so we have a, 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 a DJ algebra generated by a and y, and this thing holds. So the only thing that remains in the algebra is one, right? So somehow this CE star of lambda with this, I, I don't know how to write this then, but chains on the loop space of SN minus one, that's equal to just the ground Z. C. But that's as it should, right? That's exactly this one double point here. Okay. So, okay. Uh, now this was also used, uh, this perspective was used uh, for, for this not contact homology and so on, but let, let, me, let me skip application. So I, I want to say now one more thing about this, because uh, and then, then I want to come to this general Weinstein domain before time is up. So there is a kind of useful perspective here, I think, which, um, which teaches us something. So consider a smooth manifold M and its cotangent bundle. 
So this new manifold looks like this. Yeah. So and, 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 and we take t star of m and we want to calculate this is this kind of cotangent fiber C. And we want to calculate its wrapped flow component. So there was one way of doing this, which was to prove that this wrapped floor homology of C was equal to chains on the base loop space of M, right? And, and that, I, I would like to, uh, I'm not allowed here to say coefficients, but I would like to say coefficients. So I put everything in the coefficients. So I think of that as cutting the manifold here. Strangely, so I explain why I think of it like this, <laughs> but but I can also cut the manifold here. Right? So if I cut it here, I I, I, I find a sphere here, which is kind of if I if I take the manifold with boundary, and then round the boundary, I have Lachandrian sphere inside the rounded subcritical guy, and and and, and then uh, this is also equal to the Jacobi Hirschberg algebra of this lambda top. Let me call it top, lambda top. Okay. But it turns out that this thing is actually a completely continuous story. So if I cut it in the middle, I I get again so lambda middle. I get again. I can take the Shikonovi Jasper algebra of this lambda middle. We coefficients change on the base loop space of m above. And I all the time get this fiber. So it's somehow I can I can do it kind of continuously. So I, I can push if I want all of it in rave dynamics, none of it in rave dynamics, some of it in rave dynamics, I can do all of it in some sense. So so somehow this is this is somehow the DJ Calculation. And this is the sheet. Sh well, yeah. Ah, this m above will be. Ah, uh, this piece, piece, the piece, 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 piece above, piece above. Yeah. Ah, yeah. It will be your kind of legend. Uh, it's my anti feeling. Yeah. So <laughs> it's, the yeah, <laughs> it's the piece above. Yeah. So, um, so, so there is a, some kind of continuous way of cutting. Um, okay. So in, in the last few minutes, let me try now to take this uh, one step further and do the uh, arbitrary stops. So, <laughs> so let me start with with the with the not arbitrary, but the Schrodinger stop. So I, I put this lambda here, it's some interesting manifold, and I took this view that I, I add the cotangent bond. But somehow we see that this, this thing gives us a new fiber, right? It gives us some kind of new object in this Foucault category, which, which is erased, but it was somehow the cotangent fiber of this yeah. T store. So if we want to do it by, by Moore's theory, there should be a new critical point. So if I want to do this by Morse theory, I should rather draw this thing like that. And, and, and what, what appears here is actually T star lambda times R, right? So it's a kind of just, just, just as a contact manifold. And so I think of this, this stop as a cobordism between the upper is this contact boundary and T star M, and then I, I add this handle. And then I have this new kind of critical fiber in the middle. But now, once I see this picture, I can actually, I can actually just redo the thing for arbitrary Weinstein subdomain instead of lambda, I take V. So, so let me just do it this way. So, so this is now kind of some more interesting thing. It's possibly a skeleton with singularities or whatever. So it's a it's a contact embedding of V times small interval uh, rave thing. So it, it, is, it has some complicated Lagrangian skeleton. Okay? And then I add I, 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 I of course this one also changes. And I, I make this cobordis. But if we think a little bit we can actually find from this data 
a hand decomposition for these cobordes. And it has the following shape. So if I take the, um, yeah, uh, how to say it. So, <coughs> so I, I want to go all the way up until critical handles. And the picture is the following, that somehow in, I, I should do it. Yeah. I, I, I can go out, it's hard to go, along the subcritical, and then comes somehow this critical, uh, uh, it's too small. So it, it comes this critical handle of V. And it's attaching locus is going into the middle. And on the other side, I somehow also complete by the critical handle. So this is somehow. The, so so the, crit the critical, it's like an, a half of an open book or something like that. The critical handle is sitting from one side, from other side, and it's attached along a copy of this kind of subcritical attaching lambda. Ah, so in terms of skeletons, we consider uh, kind of low, dimen uh, low dimensional part, which yeah. will be kind of trivial and then at a, a bunch of cells. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And, and, and the cells that I, the cells that are the, the, the critical ones are, are like the critical top dimensional cells of V. Yeah. Right? One this direction, one that direction. But now, I know that if I want to calculate, so here the, the, there is one fiber, one co-core for each critical, right? If I want to calculate their rat fluoromology, I can do it by surgery, and it's by surgery of something that I know. So this rat fluoromology of C is equal to the Chicotomy, the Ashberg algebra of this, I don't know what to call them, so kind of V critical union, again V critical, <laughs> something like that. So you, you mean on the other side? Yeah, on the other side. But on this side, there is nothing happening because this is V times R, so it's no rape quartz. On this side, there is something happening. So I basically have to look at rape quartz going between the critical cells, right? So they are the generators. But in here, so so that's the so in in here there seats. So the middle of the hand labs, I'm kind of running out of that. But the middle of the hand should and could be made very small. So everybody in here is a subalgebra. So this CE of lambda is sitting here as a subalgebra. Okay. But now we we see <coughs> exactly in some sense the pictures we had before. If this was a smooth Lagrangian, this guy would be this top dimension. This would be chains on the base loop space, and this is the full algebra. So we, we somehow have this, 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 this picture that for, for arbitrary Weinstein domain, we have the same kind of structure, and we would like to define the shikonovi hirashberg algebra, whichever way it goes, <laughs> of, of this, this V as this object. Mm. Okay. So we define it like that. So what does it buy us? So, so let, let, me, let me tell you uh, about this. Uh, next talk. <laughs> so what about next talk? So next talk, uh, one there is more in next talk than this, but but one part of this next talk is that if you have one such manifold, I should maybe put W up here so we don't, and another one here with the same V, then we can glue them, right? And we can ask, what is the Wrap for cohomology of this fiber in the union, okay. and and if we follow our scheme here, what would it look like? So it would not immediately look like that, but it would look like you know this, and here we have that. But we can somehow join them like this, and here sits now a, like a subcritical copy of this V. And these two guys are in cancelling position. So if you cancel them, you go to here, and here is lambda, so you get the kind of a diagram like this.
to get some kind of free product. It's, it's uh, so sorry for fact happen, it's push-up. Right? Yeah, push-up. Maybe. I, I don't know, I mean, it's not quite connected to somewhere. Okay, maybe. Uh, uh, so there's a score shift property. There's a score shift property, <laughs> it's like this, yeah, that's right. Okay. And, and then, uh, so, so this score shift property follows, but let me again try to say something about, um, so there's sort of two more things I would want to say, so. Uh, so the so so it's not quite kind of uh, uh, at the level of what you were doing because you had a lot of non-exactness. But if I if I were if I have the following, I have a kind of my maybe even manifold or Weinstein manifold X, um, and then I have a Lagrangian L in this X, maybe two Lagrangians. I don't know. And I would like to define their their Fleur model. So what I can do is I can I can actually define it in a funny way. So I can consider this x times r. X is symplectic. A, x is symplectic. Exact symplectic. Yeah, exact. It is a Weinstein manifold. So so somehow this is omega is equal to d lambda or whatever it is. And here I can take d c minus lambda as a contact form on this guy, right? And and then. When I do so, these these uh, compact Lagrangians here, let's say compact first, they have lifts, Lagrangian lifts in in this. If they, they're right, exact, exact. They're ex exact, exact, right? So 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 I, I get kind of L twiddle, and I get L prime twiddle. L and 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 these lifts are not quite well defined. I can shift them by arbitrary amount, right? It's like primitive of a function. It's not. So and, and and if I choose to f to shift them so that say l prime is much 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 higher than the other one, then uh, I can look at the sort of the, the, uh, I need to say words like augmentations and so on, so that there is no algebraically no constant term in the differential of these DJs. but then I can take what's called this linearized homology, which is sort of part of the DJ of l prime and l twiddle. So I call it C E linearized of L and then that becomes a disk with, with sort of one positive and one negative puncture and some additional coming from augmentation. But that thing is now equal to the Fleur homology of these two in the base. And and of course I can use the same trick to define the Fleur homology now if I replace this L. If I have embe exact embeddings V and V prime of these uh, submanifolds, I can use the same thing. I lift them. I use my Lachandrian definition. I take the, if I have augmentation, I take the linearized homology. I get some definition of Fleur homology. And, 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 and that's a kind of good thing, but the upshot is also that you can kind of understand what you should calculate wh when you do this. Because you basically will calculate holomorphic polygons out here that come into this thing. So, so you need to understand the algebra inside and, and here. So, so let me do, as a kind of to finish, one last example of a Lachandrian DGA that should be interesting from this point of view. So, which is not the standard Lachandrian. So, so, so this is somehow this arboreal thing. <laughs> I am drawing the skeleton. So I, I, it's a two-dimensional skeleton, which is somehow looks like that. Okay. So, so, so the, I can take kind of this Weinstein neighborhood, and I want to view this as the as the ball with the Lachandrian stop, kind of Lachandrian skeleton as a stop. And so we need to draw that skeleton, and that skeleton looks like this. Yeah. I draw it in the usual tenor. <coughs> Properly. So it, it is some kind of trivalent. 
vertices here, and then you probably have to do it go down. I go up. That's great. And so, so now, now, now we would need to do this, understand this picture. But what 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 you should think of is just you have this planar picture, and when you come close to this thing, you should really go into the handle. So you need only understand the Chicano-Villiersberg algebra of the singularity link here, and that's a kind of a simple zero-dimensional Lagrangian in the S1 and. And, and, and it looks very big because you can go around many times, but, but as, as Yankee uh, proved, you can actually look at only those paths which go at most once around. So, so, so you would have to say, this is one, two, three. Oh, three. <laughs> Sorry, I'm <laughs> You can go from this side. <laughs> and then, so for example, D of C13 is C12, C23. Ah, it's, 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 it's sitting it's in, in quadratic. Yeah, 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 exactly. So they, that's sitting here, and now you count. So what is the DJ? I, I'm, I'm not going to write it, but you can. So here you have A1. A0, A2. And for example, this DA1 uh, is equal to. So, so you go here now. This is some kind of polygon that goes like that. So, so you would have some thing that is, I, I don't know what to call it. This maybe is C12, and this is yeah. over here, it's CB, maybe, I don't know, B13 or whatever it is. So, you have a Small corner and a larger corner uh, o o o over here, and uh, there is this disk, and so I, uh, maybe uh, uh, I should have copied it down. But it's a zero, and then b three one or something like that. Uh, and there is a similar guy going the other way. Uh, and A0 and B12. And uh, okay, the, the, there are a few these. There's this time going down and that time going down. I, I, I can write it, but may, maybe I should not. But, uh, but somehow. Uh, but in how it just is conclusion should get finitely generic free algebra. And absolutely. Yeah. The polynomial differentials. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And, and, that, and that, when I do the count of that algebra, then I would get somehow the endomorphisms of the okay. category of this guy. Okay, I'll stop at this. Any questions? Okay, okay, just still have a question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so the, uh, in in general, this project with um, skeletal expectation also get kind of like finite type algebra. Uh, uh, so eventually, should reduce to uh, finitely generated free algebras uh, and by some kind of more theory with by smaller smaller pieces and yeah. It, it, because in general, it's kind of a large algebra it's infinitely generated. Yeah, 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 yeah that's right. So, so the, the, there is this uh, uh, Yankee's favorite notion of, of kind of some kind of causal duality, yeah. which should give this. So, so in some cases, uh, for example, when 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 you have like a simply connected manifold here. Yeah, but if it's not simply connected, you can decompose by by cells, and then yes. you, you use kind of escape categories. And yes, yes. I, I think I mean I, I think in some sense that when you put enough stops, the thing should be small. Yeah. But I don't know how to formally prove this thing, yeah. but it, it should be like this. No, I don't prove from the stroke, but eventually to, to, to discuss, discuss this chains on any manifold as finitely generated free algebra. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. yes. So, so I mean, just, you know, yeah, as you know, as, as you wrote in your paper at some point, homotopy coordinates of finite type algebra. Yes, yes, yeah. No, if for example, if, for example, if it's uh, arboreal singularities, it would be completely fine, yeah. Yeah, but anything to forms to that. So yeah, 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 so it's, it's, yeah. yeah right. Yeah. Yeah. You see, it's just directly geometric. Is it yeah, that's right. The, 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 that's the yeah. main yeah. scheme. Yeah. <laughs> because in the sense, of what you, you deform kind of rep dynamic to, to have verbs. Yes, yes, and yes, yes. In some and and that's so the, the, in this sliding scale in the yeah. manifold, that's somehow saying that you know you can push parts of it into rep dynamics, n none of it, uh, everything on the skeleton, some parts in the rep, some. Yeah. It's a kind of. Yeah. And another uh, question: Can you? Say what a Hochschild homology, Hochschild homology in kind of geometric terms. 
Yes, 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 yeah. yes, yes. So, so the so when you do the. Uh, um, so, 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 for example, uh, when, when you, if you want to do this symplectic homology, which is called homology, which, right? That's so, right. It, it, I, I think I, I, I have one, one, yeah, I have so one of them one way. So they, they then, you take orbit up, yeah. and you go down, uh, and then you have chords. Oh, it's a disk with with punctures, ah, right? So they're like that. So then, and then you go around. So, yeah. so that's Hochschild. Homology, right? Yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. Sorry about yeah. it. Okay. Homology, then you have this, uh, yeah. then, then you're after the surgery, and you have this kind of business. Uh, and, 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 and you can prove that they, they are actually isomorphic by, by this kind of technology. So, so, so indeed, you, 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 see, you see all of them. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I didn't know anything of this algebraic kind of <laughs> story before this actually. So I know it only this way, but, but in the yeah. More questions? Yeah. No. No. Well, we thank speaker again. <laughs>